Jesus Christ, this seems unsafe. Oh, you're the new receptionist. Okay. Hi, I'm Mira. I'm new here. Good for you. Good for you. They didn't replace it. Wait, replace? They did replace, but they didn't waste any time in doing so. Yeah, I'm not falling for that one, Q. I was about to say, so can we not go in down any further? And then I was like, oh, no, wait. We need to go just a bit further down. Hi, Mari. Hello, brother. Are you feeling a bit better now? Why don't we enjoy this nice picnic with me? That seems to cheer you up. Shit's never gonna be the same. Now that I'm starting to acknowledge that she's dead. Did I? I don't remember if I checked. Toilet ramen. I must have checked. It's not doing anything. Um. Wrong button. Wrong button again. It's this one. Queen of the violence. Oh, thank God the gators don't attack me either now. Okay, this is this is better. Give it a give it the good old punt. I can actually grab the shit up here now. Oh hell yeah, bottled water. Get that one back that I had to give back to Waterface. Lemonade! Everyone's favorite. It might as well be the best carbonated beverage. Was sent to do handiwork, but management bad. Predicting fall of empire. Look, dude, sometimes empires just fall even if they have good management. Sometimes... Sometimes empires just fall. Oh shit, I've been here. Yeah, I don't need you. I do need to find P. I'm aware of where it is, and I know that I'm stupid, and I still haven't gone back to collect it yet, so stay mad. Because I am. In a water closet. The hell does that mean? It's gotta be somewhere down here. So I've seen Q, and R is there, so I've missed it somewhere. Can I punt it? No. Ah. <laughs> Was worth the thought. But yeah, I've got to find P, ideally before we leave. Uh, I should probably also have like a more bit of one looking, considering, you know, the only one who can see these things. Oh hell yeah, now, now that all of us are together, we can play in the ball pit. And we all look thrilled. Yeah, we all look like we enjoyed that one, didn't we? I've never seen a group of people look so bored in my life. Do you have anything that could resemble a water closet, good sir? I also didn't look at this. That's adorable. I love it. Expensive books there, just for show. It's like me. It's like me and my manga. Well, it's definitely not up here, so I guess I just do a once over on all the other floors again, just to see if I can find it. This queue keeps tempting me, but I'm not. T I'm not taking it. I refuse. <laughs> That's not fucking threatening at all. You spoke to the live jam guy. He's like, you want any live jam? Nah, I'm good. Okay. You'll need some later though. And I'm like, excuse me? Is that a threat, good sir? Are you threatening my well-being? Because you've already murdered me once. Well, that's fucking terrifying. I feel like this doll is like part of something, but I don't know what. And it scares me. Do I want to play slots? I ain't about that gambling life. Woo! The gang's back! High five, everyone! So, does anyone remember how we ended up here? You know, I had the strangest dream. There were... 
there we were, all of us falling down an endless black hole. The next thing I know, I'm sending my life away through a contract. You know what they say, sure is strange where life takes you. So what were we doing again? We were looking for Basil or something, right? Yeah, that's right, Kel. We were looking for Basil. Eh. Uh, you think Basil could be somewhere in Last Resort? No way! Basil wouldn't be caught dead here! Does he seem like the type of person who would enjoy this? I don't know. Does he? Why don't we just go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking, Kel. Though I guess we are pretty far from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. Oh! I have an idea! Why don't we all draw a picture of him? Maybe people will recognize him from the drawing! You two are full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool! I'll start! Um... What is that? That looks nothing like Basil! Basil's hair is more like this. Either. Hey, what are you doing in my masterpiece? And why did Basil have such a big nose? Alright, let's see how we're doing. Yeesh. Is that really what Basil looks like? Uh, I can't look. Here, I'll put the bad drawing in your pocket. didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can just look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Hmm. Why don't we start searching around the deep well? We can get that pretty easily by taxi. There's always one going in front of the last resort. To deep well it is then. Okay. Um, no. N stands for no. I won't pick you up. I am the mirror on the wall, and I dub the cutest of all. Hell yeah, more toilet ramen. My brain was like, so this is what the girl's bathroom actually looks like. Huh. It's a lot more pleasant than I thought. I like this fucking cesspit that's next door. Yep, they're, they're still smiling warmly behind me. Well, I'm convinced that it's actually, like, not in here, so maybe it's in Deep Well. You know, I've been feeling a little inventive lately. I got- I think got the need to make something big. Something amazing. I want to make the biggest, baddest, most ultimate weapon there is! My only problem is that I'm lacking inspiration. What I'm looking for is the perfect material to make the ultimate weapon. Something pliable and get sturdy. Perhaps a bit buoyant. Find something like that, I'll make the ultimate weapon for you. Pliable and buoyant. Okay. Gotta keep that in mind and come back to Burley, see if I actually get my ultimate weapon. But in the meantime, I'm out of ideas, so let's just leave. Where do these cabs run from, Hero? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little creepy at the minute. Oh yeah, I forgot to pick this up again. I feel like I need to go back to like Orange Oasis and actually, you know, finish anything, if there was anything there, probably finish that up at some point, but. Bottle of water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Aubrey, you're so dreamy. Would you like anything, sir? A fruit juice? A back massage? Some croutons? Wow! I could get used to this! It's I, Kel of the future! I'm gonna have so much muscle, I'm gonna barely be able to walk! 
Strike a pose! Who are? I'm gonna get all the girls. Just you wait. Not like that, you won't. <laughs> Settle down, ladies. There's enough for me to go around. Ew! Stop it, hero! Or else I'm telling Mari! Sorry. Looking good, Amari. Well, you know, it was uh, it was worth the thought. How could I almost forget? Give me, oh, cardboard and a beach ball, which is probably four. Here we go. Uh, juice down by a fifty, but that—that's a lot of speed. Oh, Jesus, that is a lot of speed. But honestly, I feel like Cal having a lot of juice is uh, better. And I'm sacrificing what? Three, three hit points? No, not three hit points. Three attack points. There's the cap. I just want to see if this is what... Um... What Burley was on about. Yeah, make, me, make me something out of cardboard. Oh, it ain't cardboard! What the fuck do I do with this then? Oh, I can I can probably recycle it. I'll put back at um. I forgotten its name. That's not what I wanted. Please take me back up to the first floor, and stop spamming the button like a cretin. Well, let's uh let's uh catch a ride, shall we? Back to deep well. This is it? Oh, hi. Hmm. Well, there's S. The underwater highway. Jesus Christ, the stop this goes on for a while, isn't it? Uh Oh god it's you Hey isn't that sweetheart Hey sweetheart remember us oh, the kids are almost ruined your wedding What you four again Why do you keep showing up? So that was married life treating you Ha Married life is a joke I had a relations with a pitiful excuse for Captain long a long time ago. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no. Does that mean you and Space Husband are... Hmm. He's Space Ex-Husband now for all I care. Ow. Poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It's more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. But no. I must refrain. I've already decided upon my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. So I've decided that I will simply just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no! But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going to make a place only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that are specialized in clients with special demands. To loo peasants! I'm late for my appointment. Thank God you didn't make me do the laugh. So, should we follow her or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. Well, let's just, uh, do some cutting. Is... 
Are, are they fucking flexing clams? Oh, hell yeah, pineapple juice. Oh, yeah, Aubrey, duh. Why can I not go that way? Can I go like round the... No, I can't go round the... Can I not go round the back? Huh. Okay, well that was weird. Uh, I'm gonna actually like leave this off for a bit and then like go catch a ride with Pluto back to o Ever Oasis and uh, do some rounds around the other places so I can, you know, finish some of these side quests. There's a ghost somewhere around. Oh, gonna, I don't know if it's exactly somewhere around here. I'm assuming there is. Also, I now have the ability to break open these walls with the faces. So that's a, definitely an Aubrey thing. Even if I, oh, if, even if at the moment, it, I think all it does is give me more jam packets. Hey, look, part, full revivals are pretty good in my book. Oh, hey, it's this place. You guys want to get in? Mr. Joseph told me the password once so I could complete one of his errands. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. I knew I'd be able to get something out of this. What's the password? Hey, Hoagie, it's me, Hero. Password is... <laughs> Hero, my man. Welcome, welcome. Doors unlocked. Come right in. Oh! This is fancy. Don't tell them when I said this, but it's, it's tough being a space pirate. Dude, this is nice. You've been logging this out for the, from me? Also, can we appreciate the massively vibing hamster? Oh shit, everyone gained five juice, hell yeah. Well, hello there, hero. Hi, Ems. You doing well? I'm doing okay. Oh, you sent me to the couch for timeout. Huh? You're in timeout? What'd you do? Nothing. I tried eating the tables over there. What? You tried eating the tables? You can do that? Oh, I see. But the tables are made out of bread. Well, this is a... Oh, shit! I think these are the CDs I got in the real world. I think. The names seem familiar, so... But yeah, good, no good news is now I can get in there. So if I see any more of those, I can, uh, deal with them. Okay, this isn't the one I thought it was. I thought that was where the snow was. You motherfucker! Get out of my head! Okay, let's see what we got in here. Red ribbon! I don't know why my... Default thing was like, yeah, I'll put that on Aubrey. Um, red ribbon. Five defense and attack increases with more energy. Also, it's just, you know what? Yeah, sure. That 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 is actually just flat out better for Aubrey. Freaking ah, that thing's following me about again. There's a ghost in my white space. Ah, yeah, okay. I knew there was a ghost somewhere around here. This doesn't look right. I must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. What's this? A map? Oh my, it even has top hat seal. Now I'll be able to get to the party. Thank you, children. I must go now. I'm behind schedule as it is. We never did find any, like, freaking batteries for this fish, did we? Also, that thing there implies that you come up from there. Or at least I think is what that implies. But 
But I don't know how or where we get to that from, so, you know. Also, I need to go to the mole wrap home base thing. You ever look down one of these telescopes and then you're convinced that you're going to see the, like, the dark blob on the other end of the telescope? Okay, yeah, it must be this guy that... Huh? What's that? You have a package for me? Hey, this is from my brother! Oh, there's 99 tofu in here! This is the best gift ever! He knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. You know, I was saving this for a rainy day, but now that I have my care package, I won't need it anymore. Tofu so good. Quest complete. Although now that I can buy a life jam, it doesn't seem like that much of a big deal. You know what? I won't say anything just in case I like hurt their feelings or something. Sprout have feelings, right? I assume they do. Did I not have that joke? Huh. Apparently I didn't. I don't know how many of these jokes I need to get, but I'm just out here collecting them. Well, I think for the time being, I'm done here. Think? Time being? Have a, have a wander down and see if I can find anything in freaking just regular ass overworld. Probably need to water Basil's plants again. Okay, well, this is just getting... Because I, I never... Th I've never thought to, like, come back into here after... After actually, like, going in and coming back out. Yeah, you're still there, you shit. Uh, I don't remember the piano music before, but... Now there's just apparitions of Mari. In my white space. This game, it never fails to shit me up in the weirdest ways, does it? Oh god, yeah, I desperately need to water Basil's plants. Of course I'm gonna keep coming back and doing this. I'm not heartless. I'm a nobody. There's a difference. I've only just noticed this now, but... The people that are gaining the heart, it's not like Omori for watering the plants. It's everyone. And I'm pretty sure this is because these are the plants that Basil associated with everyone. Like, I think these were, like, roses or something. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I know those were the ones that Hero associated with Hero. The cacti, which are further around, which he associated with Kel. Which I'm assuming, if my theory is correct, this is... Although, let's be honest, cacti barely ever need watering. <laughs> A flower? Yeah, and these are the ones he associates with the Moris because they're white and kind of plain. His words, not mine. Well, I'm here, I might as well. Just gotta check in at Basil's house. Well, the shadow was there. And the floor is sinking. God, is this soundtrack on Spotify yet? Yeah, I need this soundtrack in my life. In my daily life, I should say. Did I do all the... I feel like there were hidden areas. You're a piece of shit, Bunny. I hope you're aware of that. By the kindness of my heart, I'm keeping you alive. You, on the other hand, I could care less about, but I just can't be bothered. You get to live out of laziness. The bunnies get to live because they're cute. They aren't, you and him are not the same. 
Was there one of the train? There might have been one at the train station. A lot of bees. And the guy who asked me to murder all the bunnies is gone. Lemonade Josh is still there. I've handed out two invitations so far. I can now open this as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Gift from you. Dandelion. Can I not, like, climb on top of you? Oh, I can. Yeah, here we go. Melon smoothie. I'm assuming only the middle one with the, where, where I stand in the light actually gives me something. I'm gonna check them all anyway, because, you know, that's just how RPGs be. Yeah, there was nothing else there. Thank you, Mr. Mushroom. Okay, we're back in Shifting Sandland. That's not its name, but you know what? Ask me if I care. Can I actually get up here now? Got a wishbone. Okay, that probably gives me a look. Hello, sir. A sand sculpture of a peculiar old geezer. I mean, that is definitely a word for him. Can we, like, get through these quickly now? Oh, yeah, this is gonna be a piece of cake. I can fucking plow through here now if need be. Oh, hello. Wait, where was I going again? Dang it, my memory isn't what it used to be. There you go there. A map to all top hats party. Ooh, it sure is. I better get going before the food gets cold. Here I come, all you can eat buffet. See, I knew I'd find some of them. Did I get this one? Pickle cheese that isn't yours. Nacho cheese. Yeah, I already have that one. Oh yeah, there's the face wall. I was like, have I been in this cave? Are we just- hold- are we- Are we not gonna question the burning man that just ran by? I feel like we should question the burning man that just ran by. Hold on. Okay, that was easy. Hello? Oh yeah, we can swim now. Okay, well, this is... Huh. I mean, I gotta, it's my toast now. Oh. Oh. oh! Yeah, I'm sorry, I poked your toast. Oh. <laughs> well, we're dead. Oh, no. Ah! Ew. What is all this? This is all-purpose flour. <sighs> My nose is all itchy. Um. Stop right there, no gooders. Can't y'all read directions? Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. My family and I have been guarding this crypt's treasure for generations. Guarding it ain't easy because of people like you. I may be old and frail now. My eyesight might not be so good. I may be the only one left. I'll spend my entire lifetime doing this. Now I got a real good garden, I reckon. I don't even remember what I'm guarding, but it's probably whatever hidden in that important looking safe in the left corner of the room. 
Anyway, I'm gonna have to ask y'all to lay peacefully. Being an actual mole and all, I can dig my way out of here in three seconds flat. There ain't nothing special about this place. So how about I, uh, no. Well, I'll say it, enjoy the place. All right, if you insist. Summoning circle might be all, but it still works like a charm. No fun in business or else. Okay. So we've got loaf spaghetti, life jam, cookies, the forest bunny, oatmeal cookies, and a stray cat. Perfect spot for sacrifice. Oh, okay, so you're seven. Your second. Okay, so cookies first. Oh, hello. Easy bake oven. Ho ho! Pop Chip comes with good tidings to you. The sign of good chip, pop. We got sign of good will. Pop a chip will get you some pop a chip knows you'll enjoy. Hell yeah. Red. So spaghetti's number two. That's some sad macaroni. It's copy back! <laughs> I love it! I love it. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Um, no, no need to get angry, you two. There's no need to be this mad. Okay, maybe there is, because that's actually a lot of damage. Thank God we took one down. Oh God, there's... Oh no, they're multiplying! Okay, we're, we're getting through this pasta. Very slowly, but we're getting through it. Well, I think Aubrey's gonna possibly die. Yep. Okay, so thank God that went to actually someone helpful. Um... Actually, you know what? Amore, you do that one. Kelly, you do that one. Hero, we, we've got jam for days, let's be honest. Where is it? It's somewhere down in this list. Life jam. Why did you attack that one twice? Doesn't matter, we beat them. Here we go, level two. Uh, learn enchant. Okay. Uh, we desperately need some stuff. I'm just gonna like write this down ever so quickly. Now listen here, pop chips. Okay, yep. You best look. Can I like step away from the oatmeal cookies? Nine. Oh. Uh, are you are you okay, Papa Chip? What, what's wrong with you? Seven, two, zero, one, nine. A recipe for the disaster! Recipe for disaster. Ingredient mole. Why 
god darn nation! You go on the plinth! A portal has been opened. Oh, that's ominous. That's even more ominous. I didn't realize we were Indiana Jonesing it. Um. What? Bags of Okay. Oprah, get your ass up. Amori, you saved me. Thank you. I thought I was toast for sure. All right. All right, guys. Get back up. I need you. Ah! Where am I? Oh, hey, guys. What did I miss? You were dead, Kel. Sorry, you were toast. Ugh. Welcome back, hero. How are you feeling? I feel... dizzy. Whoa! Hey, where are we? I don't know. Maybe a place where we're all abandoned toast goes. Are we sure as heck aren't toast anymore? Let's hurry up and find a way out of here. Well, this is ominous. Complete lack of Mari in sight. Our master does not sleep, so neither do we. Day in, day out, it's fresh bread. Fresh bread, fresh bread. Be gone, living to- Living toast? Okay. Got a donut. The masters have been receiving more requests as of late. They must be reaching their limit soon. You smell like father. Father's alive? I haven't seen him since he was actually thrown into the summon summoning vault. Okay, I'm gonna be real. It's like nearly like one in the morning, but I got like one attempt at whatever the hell is about to happen. to make bread forever day in and day out fresh bread fresh bread fresh bread it's a hard life and it's not very rewarding but this is all we have we just have to be grateful right biscuit oh that's right brother this has always been our life trapped in an endless circle of bread Yeah, we, we get it. You, you. Oh, this is where all that wailing was coming from. Ah! The bread. It has spoken. I knew that bread would come back to haunt us eventually. Come, Biscuit. 
Must destroy them before they reach the f destroy re de 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 de. Well, wait a second, we're not Oh Oh, oh! So th this is this is them, are they? The fabled pair that I've heard so much about. The unbred twins. Well. Uh, also this tune. Just fucking love this tune. This tune's amazing. Uh. Oh, now they're sad. Oh yeah! Oh, oh! Okay, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Shit, okay. Um, okay, so I think if I go first, I can shun them. And then... Aubrey, you get to do the headbutt. Because Kel goes second, I'm pretty sure. And I get to do... Angry on everyone. Wait, that's just on one person. That's everyone. Uh, you heal yourself. <laughs> it's actually the meme horn as well. Oh, the good news is they missed. Okay. And now, we hopefully start the stabbing. Uh, I think if you attack, uh, run and gun. You just do like 40% to everyone. What's trick do? I, I always forget. Okay, so it just lowers their speed. Look at Cap. Because this makes them real angry. And their attack goes up. Ow, 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 ow. Please, please stop. Please stop with your bread in ink. That's a sentence. Cut for yourself, hero. I really feel like I should, like... Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Every day it's fresh bread. Oh. Okay, these, these are the sad pair. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's some honky-tonk bullshit right there. All right, you know what? Make, make. Is this stack? And hero, you can do with some juice. Yeah, you have that hero. Damn, okay, that's, that's what we need. We need more stabs like that. Okay, so yeah, it puts me and hero up to enraged. Hero enjoys a nice, tasty, tasty soda. I'm more angry. I like counter. This basically makes it so they won't actually hit Cal. Meanwhile, Hero can do his uh, cooking. Okay, we get we get the three free hits in with Amori. At the cost of my energy. I'm better off just attacking. Stop healing! This is a problem. Uh, I'm supposed to reduce the defense. Uh, 
Oh, their defense is already at rock bottom. Well, this is a problem if that's the case. Oh, okay, now there are bread minions. Now there are slices to deal with. Uh, Kel? Rebound, please. Hero, please hit the slice. Hopefully the slice isn't too much, too, too dangerous. Oh no, that's changed the mood. That's not good. Um, yeah, okay, I'm, I made a fuck up. Uh, I need you to be really angry with me, Aubrey. More slices? Hero. Can you, like, lower their attack more? You can't. Hell yeah. Okay, that's a little more bearable. I'm very impressed Hero held on with 1 HP. I'm not gonna lie, there was a good moment I said nothing there because I needed to hold my breath. I am bothered by the amount of cookies you can apparently make. Mm -mm, 80 juice to everyone, sounds real nice. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. We're doomed to bake for all eternity. Happy biscuit. Uh -huh. You're only doomed to bake for eternity because this is taking for fucking ever. Well, that's problematic. Oh, thank God they forgot something in the oven. No surprise. What do we do, biscuit? Oh. Hey, we're getting somewhere in this fight. You're not angry again, shit. Okay, yeah, we're, now we're getting somewhere. Now, they keep forgetting things in the oven. I'm getting lucky, I think. Okay, now we're doing, now we're making progress. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this with Hero. I'm like 400 damage in each time I do that, which is ideal, really. You leave her boyfriend alone! Stabbing. Uh, I think this is better for me. If you, if they hit me again, I'm gonna hold on. I think. Wow. Okay, that's just um the saddest cookie you've probably ever done, Diddy. Oh, now they're miserable. Um, snack time. Because me and Aubrey really still do need our uh, heals and stuff. Especially since we keep doing that. Although I do like the sadder they've gotten, the like easier they are to fight because they're just losing the will to actually like fight. I did that by mistake. I didn't mean to do that. I kind of 
feel about it at this point. I'm just like freezing them. And all they know is bread. All resources have been depleted. What will we do without ingredients? Oh. I, f I found bread. And I learned how to stare. And I'll be learned how to mash. And here I'll learn how to share. That's some poetry right there. <sighs> We're all out of juice. It seems. This is the end for his biscuit. Oh. Wait! We're not bread! We're kids just like you! You... You mean you're not here to destroy us? Of course not! We'll never attack unprovoked! You hear that biscuit? We're saved. Now it's back to baking. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Oh. Hey, so... How long have you guys been baking here? Don't you want to go outside and get some fresh air? Oh. If only that were possible. We've been trapped here since the inception of the universe. Wow, that sounds like a pretty long time. I think both of you deserve a break. What? That's preposterous. What meaning do our lives have if we do not spend it baking bread? Oh? If we leave our bread-making stations, what will we do with ourselves? This is the only life we know. Yet, my morbid curiosity overwhelms me. That portal up there is able to transport us out of this place. We've used it countless times to fulfill our bread summonings, but we've never seen the other side for ourselves. Well, we have! And let me tell you, it's a big awesome world out there! I think it's about time you guys start exploring new possibilities. Hmm. Tempting. Well, what do you think, Biscuit? Oh. Uh, hmm. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... Uh... That is true. Why would we change our minds? We want to leave. This place sucks. Oh. Uh. Biscuit? I've always been afraid to use the portal. Perhaps it's time for change. Come on, brother. Let's experience our first taste of freedom. Oh! Is it really a portal if you have to use a ladder? You know, who might have asked questions? I think I did good today. I think I did good. If nothing else, I now feel good, so. Probably should have checked the fridge. Oh, hello. Bread phones! Hell yeah. Uh, what do bread phones give me? Uh, more HP, more defense. A life jam will heal more heart when used in battle. Oh, okay, so that's like a good heal thing. Or like, heal item anyway. Well. Who is this burning man that keeps running down the middle of this? Sir, sir, do you require medical attention? We can help you. Please. Some folks don't want to be saved. Oh shit, it's you again. I'll pop a chip. Five juice. Good to know that pretty much I can guarantee going to those gets me five juice for everyone. Oh shit, hold on. I just realized they got hieroglyphs of these two up here. Biscuit and Doughy, I think their names were. I'm hoping I can get back into Sweetheart's Castle this way. One would hope so. So, uh... Although, to be quite honest, I don't rem really remember... 
Oh well, there's a there's a side side quest. Are you sweet? I love sweetheart. So much so that I have a quiet ticket to the most prestigious sweetheart's quest for hearts event. I've just spat everywhere. Jesus Christ. Although I was unable to attain an ultra rare, impossible to attain front row ticket. My rich, reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket would still seat me in a prime location. He's also assume, assured me that the event will start very soon, so I've been waiting here in line for many, many hours. Uh, I wonder if we should tell him. Oh, that's a... That's a guy? Well, I just assume because I, I I just he's just a guy wearing the sweetheart wig. Then I can only assume. I'm sure that at any moment the event will begin, and I will be guided to my seat by none other than Sweetheart herself. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful. What's this? It's it's missing. No. My most precious thing. I'll not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four. Since you are undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the death void is no longer findable. Excuse me? Are you like a silhouette? Oh, no, you're a shadow. I'm stupid, ignore me. Are these still growing? Yep, these are still growing and ominous as all hell. Fucking knew it! I knew you'd be there one day! And there you are! They will never leave me alone, will they? He, it, they. I don't know. It could be a hive mind for all I friggin' know. Also, for the love of God, turn the piano down. Uh, it was back here, wasn't it? This, this is the thing I came back here for, let's all be honest. I was told to come back, and so I did. Okay, so I guess not quite yet. She got a actually find somewhere else to live, apparently. She still lives here. And it's still cursed beyond belief outside. There's probably a ghost around here that I can find. As I'm assaulted by piano. Hello, shiny object. It's a pearl. Are you something I can... No. Oh, hold on. I can pick something up here. I got a book. I don't think I can equip that. Where it gains more XP. Ooh! Wasn't someone falling behind in level? No, we're, we're all mostly the same. It's just Aubrey, she keeps dying. To be fair, she is the group fighter. A poetry book. You know, another one. I forget where the guy that wanted the books actually was. I think it was in the forest. So I think that's where I have to hand these in. I, I say this in the nicest possible way. Could you piss off? I'm looking for ghosts. Ah! Yes, here we are. I knew I saw one around here. Oh dear. It seems that I've gotten myself lost again. Oh, how clumsy of me. Gave the spooky map to the princess ghost. Oh my, what is this? A map to Sir Top Hat's party? Why indeed it is. I must hurry to the party now. Being late is unbefitting of a princess. I love that like slightly off key ghostly noise. I mean, I can assume that there's only the one ghost in here. Do you, oh no, no. Well, at least the dungeon's locked. Is that for better or for worse? I don't know, but we'll find out. Oh shit, that's just the picture that they used in the battle art that she's got hung up above her bed. Oh! Hello? Psst, hey kids, come up over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps. I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, 
Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? Ahem. As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that would help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that when complete would entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it... The Bed. <laughs> the... Bed? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a bed first and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kelp, I don't know. He seems awfully... untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, Hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. G get him a bed? How am I gonna find him a bed? Plus, why in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night I had him analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. So he's somewhere around here, I assume. Did I get this joke? Yeah, I already have that one. Oh, you, yeah, you, you have, you can have tofu. Please take good care of it. A big air horn. Ah, here we are. You have the bed. Oh, okay. And you... I love how the air, all the air horns make the meme noise. Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be the light? No. I must have overslept. But sprout balls don't oversleep. This bed hits powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell Dad about this. Okay, well, gotta do the running and the fetching and the questing. Hopefully I can get the bed and then we can start doing it. Solving some other problems. It's better to be worth it. Dad! Dad! I'm here! When the hell did we overtake you? Well, the godson! Where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You can tell me anything. Last night when I was testing the bed, I... 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 I overslept. No, it can't be! If what you said is true, then... Well, my research, this invention, the bed... It's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a bed would help sprout moles get a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day. But... Well, what good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The bed has potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village may never wake up again. Hey, you there! Child! Take this bed away from us. We have no need for such power. Oh, hell yeah. Now be gone, and speak not of what you saw here today. Well, you know what? It's all good in my book. So now I give it to the shady guy and then I hand over the other thing and we're all good. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's... it's a bed. A real genuine bona fide bed. I'm gonna use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you so you should help us. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but... Earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa! That menace Rosa's at it again! Come on, Amori! We're gonna make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Is she in here, or is she like... 
further out somewhere else. I feel like I've seen her somewhere, but I could be wrong. I'm like 99% sure that what I'm looking for is this freaking pearl that I've already got. So I'm doing this run around for what I assume is nothing. Also, this is going to be a long episode. I'm, I'm committing to the idea that we're not actually making progress, but I'm actually trying to do some of the side quests and shit. Oh, well, hold on. Mr. Smooth can get us into this door. I this It wasn't the door I thought it was. Please never do that again. Please. I, I'm asking nicely. Yep, that's a, that's that's a cold shiver. That's a cold shiver. I'm feeling right up the old the old spine. I didn't even do it as a Mori. I did it as, with like Hero still in still in the lead. Yeah, that's the issue. I think my friends were smiling a little too fucking widely. Like, I felt something was weird about that last one, because, like, the text box normally appears right away. When it's like, a floating mirror, your friends smile warmly behind you, and then it just popped up and I was just like... Where's my description? And then, you know... It looked like someone tore their mouths kind of open, and the other way. Mouths aren't supposed to open like that, Jesus Christ, you're persistent, aren't you? Why did I get chosen to dance? I'm not the lord of the dance, said Amori. What is this feel? Oh, okay, that's just a heal. That's a interesting way of healing me. You're not who I thought you were. Oh, you're virtuoso. <laughs> Paid actors, my ass. I'm just gonna assume that Rose is like not actually in this castle. And that she's probably out in the friggin' wilderness or some shit. Okay, it's been like five minutes and I'm still fucking shuddering from that minor jump scare, if we if that's what we're gonna call it. Can we call it minor? Because it'll... Well, I've... I, there's like... Okay, the thing I like about the scares in, that I've seen in this game so far is they're not like... Horrific loud noise make you shit your pants kind of jump scares. Oh, there you are. Browser, the jig is up! Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away! Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart, run away with a blasted Captain Space Boy. Again! Ugh. Sweetheart was only a few doors away. Now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing, now give it back! This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so... It's finest keepers! Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you and I try and work something out? Ew! No, I don't want to hear it. There's no way I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! Now get out of my house! I feel like I should start not trusting these mirrors. Gah, the humble abode of Rosa. Gah, gah. The number one sweetheart fan in the world. C c can I, can I drop the chandelier on you? I don't know. Maybe I have to go talk to the thief guy again. <laughs> Rosa being difficult again, huh? Figures she's always been like that. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she'll refuse after seeing this. 
Now leave me in my bed alone. Our business is done here. What? Uh, what? Uh, but what could you possibly have to blackmail a sprout mole? Back again? Huh. You amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. <laughs> Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rose is a real pain. But I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Kel pulled out the blackmail. Where did you get that? I've, I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir. I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand that blackmail over at once. Ah, yes! You want a Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it, it's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it! Trade a blackmail for Pessy's thing. I'm gonna need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? A scram! Scram, I say! Look, I, I look, I gotta know. Why does Basil have a pink aura? That's not what I wanted to look at anyway. I wanted to. I have several questions about what I'm looking at. The main one being why does Sweet Hole. Sweet Hole? That's because I'm looking at the hole in her stomach and wondering what the fuck that is. I didn't realize she was some kind of donut. I was wanting to know what Pessy's thing was. Oh, you found it! You found it! My precious thing! I almost started going doing the female one, and then I remembered, nope, Pessy's a guy. Thank you, I say. Thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. A sweetheart bust. Ah, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. <laughs> this better give me something fucking worthwhile. I didn't see what this- oh, luck plus seven. Well, I was right when I assumed it gave me luck. Where is the- is it a weapon for someone? Oh yeah, it's a weapon for Aubrey. Puts her speed to one, but gives her an extra freaking 12 attack. You know, she's not the fastest anyway, so if she's just gonna hit harder, she might as well hit harder. Oh yeah, there's an area I can go into the water here. Don't know what I'm gonna do in here, or... A golden hero sandwich. I mean, I'm just thankful I can get into one of the- I always forget this blows my eardrums out when I come in. Oh? Sorry, what was your name? Rarest Bear. You were just outside! Ah, it's too far again. Haven't you ruined my life enough times? I see you sweetheart is nowhere to be found. I hope you're happy with yourselves. Oh, I'm very happy, Rosa. Help! I don't know what to do! Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. Was it you? Oh, that's my teddy bear! That's a big bear. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning with me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. A rubber duck? Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, that's a one I can cross off the list, at least. Dude, I got like three poetry books for it. And the duck doesn't like me very much, apparently, so uh, screw it. 
Oh, now I want to see Hero with cat ears. That'd be adorable. Apparently, I still don't have the book for him, so... I guess I'll have to come back. <sighs> hey, it's me, Weeping Willow, goddess of the lake. Thanks for the clams, I guess. They say money can buy happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell me a joke? Oh, this is where the joke book comes in use. Okay, what is it? You open the joke book. Really? You want me out here for nothing? Someone old has got to do it. Right, okay. Where, where, where is... Where is Captain Charming? I don't remember looking at this the first time. I mean, I probably did, but... Uh, Scarecrow joke, bicycle joke, cheese joke, ocean... Uh, ocean joke. Lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches. A nervous wreck. That, that joke was so bad, it just makes me wanna... <sighs> I imagine none of these would get a good response, but I can find out. Oh god, yeah, that that's just as bad. Although I am starting to see why they call her Weeping Willow. It was too tired. Oh god, no, please. Please, I'm running out of my best material. Well, I'm out of ideas. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going swimming. And nothing terrifying is going to happen at all. I mean, I assume that goes to deep well, but... Anything to the sides? Oh, god damn, I missed my opportunity to explore all the cool... Like, foggy areas. Oh, crap. There's probably like a lot of other stuff I could have looked at. Because this is just deep well. And back to where I started this episode. You know, assuming this episode isn't like fucking two hours long, which it might be. I don't know how much I've got to cut out of this like extra hour I've recorded tonight. Screw all you animals with your waiting for something to happen. I'm waiting for the shit not to be frightened out of me. Hey, it's you again. You're the one who gave us the blackmail for Rosa. What do you want now? Shady mole. Up to no good again, I presume. <gasps> you misunderstand me, child. If anything, I'm more of a good Samaritan type character. I don't know about that. Here, I'll even prove it to you. But a shady mole tell you incredibly helpful and vital information that could change your life. I think not. Uh, okay, we're listening. Glad I got your attention. Now, word around here is that clams will soon be obsolete and replaced by a new, better currency called clems. According to my trustworthy sources, this change can potentially happen at any time, and will render all of your clams completely useless. You wouldn't want that to happen, would you? Well, I... Yeah, that'd really suck, wouldn't it? But here's the kicker. Since I heard about this, I've been secretly stocking up on the new and valuable currency called clems. This seems like a cryptocurrency scam. 
I'm gonna, like, run into you down the line later, and you're gonna try and sell me fucking NFTs, and I'm gonna tell you to shove them right up your ass. And then right-click and save them anyway. Wow, really? You do that for us? Kel! Don't listen to him! This is beyond shady! This is criminal! But oh, Bray, didn't you hear? They're about to replace all clams with clams! What are we gonna do when we have no money? What do you think, Amori? Fuck no. Why would you wanna keep your outdated clams? Clams are the way of the future. You must reconsider. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe at a later date. Maybe at a later date, good sir. I ain't falling for that one now, though. I can already see the angry comments. Because I left myself one while editing. Even I'm mad at me. The, the thing that bothered me the most was like... Three keys left. The th yeah, before I look in here, the thing that bothered me the most was like... A couple minutes before, and I was like, hmm, now where's the P key? And then I come in here, look at it, and leave again, and be like, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> Why do I have to go into it? Why can I never just, like, look into them? That, that weird tingling numbness has returned. That's a g good sign. I don't fucking know anymore. Like, I mean, a you could have like maybe not stop in front of the horrifying things, like f gaping more. That would have been nice. Uh, other than that, it's just drowning. It's, it's, Sure, I'll buy a hot dog. So yeah, I need S, which I know where it is, T, which uh, I assume comes after S, and then W. And then we've got the key combination. Welcome to black space. I haven't done this in a while, have I? So, Mari. What are you doing? You're waiting for us. Um, nothing out of the ordinary. I say hello and try to make small talk with the folks who pass by. That sounds exhausting. I can't small talk at all. Mari, tell us! Who's the most interesting person you've come across? Well, let's see. Around this area, I typically see cranky tourists and gator guys. The gator guys are a little rough around the edges, but once they open up, they'll share just about everything with you. They're even nicer than most of the tourists. Yeah, I agree! All the gator guys I've met have been really nice to me. They are? They always treated me like I'm in trouble or something. Let's see, what else? Ah, come to think of it, I do remember a chronically unlucky fellow named Snaily. Or Snarly. I don't know. It might be a snail. I used to see him wandering around a lot. But one time he tried to walk up to greet me, and he suddenly fell into a hole. I never saw him again after that. Boring! Next! Isn't that the guy they pulled up on stage and he got struck by lightning or something stupid? I think it is. 